Hello and welcome to this video on doing AC steady state analysis for a single node pair circuit. Uh, the goal of this video is to demonstrate how to use AC steady state analysis for the simple circuit and it will uh, bring out hopefully a lot of uh, useful points about how to do AC steady state analysis. So the first thing to do in AC steady state analysis is to identify the frequency that we'll be working at. And that's given by the frequency um, in the cosine of the source. And so uh, we have here that our frequency omega is 2 pi times 3000. That is our current source is creating an AC current with a frequency of 3000. So the next thing to do is to replace the time function, which is defining the source, by an equivalent phasor. So we have 5 milliamps at an angle of 0 degrees. That gives us the equivalent, um, or the phasor representation. And at the same time, we'll get rid of this time signal V of t, V of t is the voltage that we want to find, and we'll replace it by a um, by a capital V, which represents the phasor voltage that we're going to find. Okay, so that ends step one of finding or, or replacing the voltages with phasors. The next step is to um, convert the components into impedances. And so the 1K ohm resistor, we know that the impedance of a resistor is the resistance, so Z R is 1K ohm. Uh, for the capacitor, we know that the impedance of the capacitor is 1 over J omega C, which in this case is 1 over j times 2 pi, 3,000 times 0 0.1 times 10 to the minus 6th. Okay, that's the microfarad. That's omega. And when we work this out, we get minus j 530 ohms. Okay, so we can replace this resistance by the impedance minus J 530 ohms. Okay, so that gives us um, our impedances. We're done with step two. Step three is to use the techniques from circuit analysis that we know to solve uh, for the thing we want to solve for, which in this case is V. So, in this case, I think the easiest way to solve this circuit would be to find the equivalent impedance of the resistor and the capacitor. You can see they're both in parallel. Once I have the equivalent impedance, then I can multiply that by the current to get the voltage. So to get the equivalent impedance, I need to find the parallel combination of the 1K ohm resistor and the minus J 530 ohm impedance of the capacitor. So the equivalent resistance is going to be 1K ohm times minus J 530 ohms divided by 1K ohm minus J 530 ohms. And if I compute this, if everything works here, I get um, the equivalent impedance is, uh, let's see, 2.19 or 219.3 
minus 413.8 j, or in polar coordinates, it's 468.3 ohms, an angle of minus 62.08. Well, so if we uh, go back now to our circuit, we can say that this is equal to 468.3 ohms at an angle of minus 62.08 degrees. Okay, and then we can get that the voltage is going to be our source current, 5 milliamps, at an angle of 0 degrees times the equivalent, which is 468.3 ohms at an angle of minus 62.08. And when we work this out, we hopefully find that this is equal to 2.34 volts at an angle of minus 62.08 degrees. Okay, so what we found then is that this voltage is 2.34 volts at an angle of minus 62.08 degrees. So that completes step three. We now have the phasor representation of the voltage that we were trying to compute. So step four is to convert that phasor representation back into a time signal. And we do that. Uh, we'll clean up some of this stuff. So um, the time signal is going to be V of t is equal to 2.34 volts times the cosine of omega t, which is 2 pi 3000 t minus 62.08 degrees. So there you have it. Um, by using uh, a phasor representation of our source and our unknown voltage, uh, finding the impedances of the elements in the circuit, uh, doing the computation to get the unknown voltage, and then going back to the time domain uh, to get V of t. We now have the AC steady state voltage across the capacitor and resistor pair. So hopefully this is helpful, and uh, we'll see you later.